how to use the containers, right? It's really important to make sure you follow the proper formula. It's really important to make sure you understand the food lists. Um, it's really under, it's really important to understand what are freebies, what are substitutions, how often can I have treats? These are things that have changed a little bit from the origination from the original 21 day fix. With 21 day fix, it was like you can have treats, you can have cheats, two to three times a week, and it's wine or it's these couple things listed in the 21 day fix guide, right? Well, now we've got an entire cooking show filled with dessert recipes, filled with cocktail recipes. We've got people out there asking, you know, what does this containerize as? What does that containerize as? And so the food list, we're taking a deeper dive into the food list. We're taking a deeper dive into being vegan and vegetarian, because while we've had that plan, I've never really taken a deep dive into how that works for everybody. It's sort of like, hey, you're vegan, here's the plan, follow it. But I've never spoken to it significantly. So I'll be speaking to it a lot in that module as well. Uh, then we go into module four, meal prep, so your prep. And this is me really breaking it down in a couple different videos, talking about meal prep. And again, you might think like, hey, I know how to meal prep, but so many people get hung up on meal prepping and like what that word means. And they see what's on Instagram and that people, you know, have got these tables full of food and meals and containers. And that becomes very overwhelming to them for a lot of people that maybe aren't so type A about it like that. So I'm breaking it down into different ways that you can do meal prep, meaning prepping your food, but also different ways that you can meal plan um, for your day. So I do meal planning for beginners and meal planning advanced. And what that is is like, are you a person who's brand new to this and you need to just like pick items off the food list and say like, here's my breakfast and here's my snack and here's my lunch. Or are you somebody who really likes to cook and maybe you want to dive into all these different fixate recipes and it's like, oh crap, did I plan accordingly to make sure I left the appropriate containers for each meal? So I really walk you guys through step-by-step step how to do that so that you don't get to dinner wanting to make you know, enchiladas and you didn't leave containers for enchiladas because there's a lot in that recipe. Uh, so we're going to cover meal prepping and all of that. And then we can... We're gonna talk about maneuvering the grocery store, both the perimeter and the aisles, tricky things to look out for when you're at the grocery store, how to get your kids eating more veggies without a fight. And obviously I've got a 10 year old guys, so I'm not just like spewing random thoughts. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm a working case study here of like, how do I get this kid to eat a little bit better? And he's a fairly decent eater, but he's definitely had his moments. Model okay. six is easy ways for special days. So over the years, you guys have asked me about like, what do I do if I'm going on vacation? And what do I do if I'm going out to eat on the fix? And what do I do at holidays? And so I'm covering all of that stuff too, putting all that information into one place. Then I also have um, just an additional resources section where I'm covering like the performance line and what those containers are and why. And um, there's a video just for uh, pregnant moms and nursing moms about how they find their formula and what they can do that allows them to follow the program safely. So, so those, that's the overview of 